I really want to make a cool starter house, and I found a perfect location up on that rock. But wait, how do we get up there? I don't think this is the way to go. We quickly need to defeat the Ender Dragon and get an Elytra. That dragonfly was one of the scariest things I had to do to get this new world started. But there are a few more things to get out of the way before I can get started on my house. I had to run into the outer region of the end, bridge over the void backwards, always really fun, and then tower my way up to an end ship to get my hands on a pair of wings. Now that I had an elytra, I wasn't afraid to build above the void anymore, so I made an enderman farm and got my gear completely sorted. And that meant there was one thing left to do before I got started on the house. I built a temporary general mob farm out of dirt so I had gunpowder to make rockets and could fly around up to that rock. It is time to get building. I really want to make this into a super cool starter house, but to do that we're gonna need some space. So first things first, I'm gonna get this dirt out of the way so we can start digging. Let's check how much room we have in there. Oh dang, it's actually pretty massive! Let's hollow out the entire thing. What's that sound? Oh, here's a wall. Wait, I think that's a zombie villager. Let me, let me check real quick. But first, I need a boat. If, we, if I can get a boat, I can put him in there and he'll not despawn for a little while. And then we can uh, cure him later. If I just jump down here, I should be able to land it. Zombie villagers are super important. I'm not going to make a villager breeder or steal any villagers away from villages in this entire series. What are the odds that we have a zombie villager spawn up here? They're, they're quite rare and there's literally only one mob that spawned up here. I'm just gonna put him on the, in there and then we'll, uh, we'll pick him up from the inside a little bit. Oh. <laughs> okay, that will do. For now, let's clean up this dirt. And I think there's a little bit down here as well. Okay, the frame up top is looking decent. Yeah, that's definitely gonna work. Back to the build. Oh my god, it's a thunderstorm! I want to get some mob hats. I don't have a trident yet. I need to find some copper. I th oh, I see a little bit there. Um, how are we gonna do this? Okay, I have a plan. I have a plan. What could possibly go wrong? Send it. <laughs> that actually worked. Nice. I think one will do. Yeah, yeah we're out of here. Back to my house. I need to smelt this up, get a lightning rod. In my previous hardcore world, I managed to get more than 2500 mob hats without any sort of power. I want to get a collection like that here as well. So it's going to be a little bit tricky without a challenge trident, but let's go and make a start to this collection. A uh, lightning rod! Hurry over there, hurry over there! Alright, now we just gotta keep that creeper close enough. Got it! Got it, got it! He's hit, he's hit! Come on, come on! Yes! Creeper head! Right, I'm just gonna fly home. We need to uh, continue working. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to figure out a plan for how I'm going to build this. Oh, phantoms. Hang on, I got this. Second one was a hit. I think I got another one. Yeah, yeah, I definitely hit him with a sword. Nice, and last one. Got it. All right, I'm actually going to extend this frame a little bit. Have some more dirt for temporary blocks. I think what we're going to need is uh, to have like a little tower going up here. Just extend these up. Let's see how high up this needs to go. And then we need... Oh, mm, no, no, that's not high enough. I'm going to remove this one, but I do need to have a beam go across there. You know, this might work. And then we'll extend it up a little bit further. And I'm, I'm just going to see if it works. I'm going to gonna take a peek. Oh, <laughs> we got visitors. Where are all these phantoms coming from? They're not really coming my way. Let, let me get them. Okay, back to the build. So we're going to make this a little bit higher. He's just gonna go look for his friends, I guess. Poor guy. I need some more wood. Honestly, I think we went far enough up, so I think it's time to put another row of supports here, and then we'll uh, we'll go figure out the outline for the for the roof. I'm I'm gonna make this in dirt really quick because then uh, we can see if the shape's right. And if the shape's right, it's gonna be uh, easy to replace it. And if the shape isn't right, it's gonna be easy to try again. I, I do work with uh, dirt quite a lot to uh, check out the shapes. I wanna have it be a little bit higher in the middle, but I'm probably gonna have to use fences. I think this should do it though. Mm, I think for proportions, that definitely works. Yeah, we can, we can build something with that. 
The rock is ready, but the frame needs a little bit of work right now. Let's figure out a ridiculous shape for the roof. I want this place to look absolutely stupid. This shape is going to be a big factor in the general feel of the whole house. So if we make this a bit wonky, I uh, get the picture. Oh my. Honestly, that looks plenty dumb. Let's put a floor in there to cover up the lower area for now. You stupid. Now I need some more resources. Let's get some oak leaves and some oak logs. I'm gonna use those to decorate the rock. Oh, I'm using fortune. Alright, let me get some more of these logs. And then I think with all the research we just got, I think we're good to go. Let's go back. I've made a lot of oak planks and slabs and stairs, so I think it's time to uh, remove some of this dirt and start by building a little bit of a roof. And we're gonna do the outlines in oak. If I make the inside be spruce, we'll have a little bit of a contrast. I think it's gonna look nice. Alright, so then this outline is gonna go over here. It curves up a little bit and then it meets in the middle. I think it's gonna work. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. I like that curve a lot. Guys, I'm actually really excited about this house. I think it's gonna look so cool by the time that we're done with it. I just need to quickly fix this section over here. That looks perfect. I think I got all the outlines down here. I think it's time to place the walls in here. We're gonna go around with the stone bricks, like here, and then this is where the entrance is gonna be. Um, so we're gonna have to cut that out. That, that, and that, I think. That'll work. So let's go around here. Same thing on the other side. We're leaving some space for the windows. All right, this is perfect. Let's get the rest on quickly so we can finish the roof. That is starting to look good. Oh my God, that hole is a safety hazard. And then all we gotta do is the entrance here, which we're gonna put a layer of walls there. That's looking good. And then we'll put the roof on that. Speaking of, I think it's time to continue with the roof now. Oh my god, these phantoms are never gonna leave me alone. Yeah, that looks good. So I'll just fill this middle bit in with sprues. Mm, no, it has to be on the same level. Yeah, now it checks out. Now it's symmetrical. It's not mandatory, but it generally uh, makes things look good. Okay, that's the front of the roof done. We need to make sure that the top's filled in with something on the inside. I'm thinking we got walls. Um, maybe we need something a little bit more colorful here. I have a cool block in mind, but let's do the roof over on the side here first. Oh, what's actually really cool is that the roof is going to collect snow. I, I hadn't thought about it. We're pretty high up, so it makes sense. And there's a snow biome right next to it. I think snow is going to be a bit of a theme in this world. All right, I'll just fill this in. The roof area is mostly done here. I think it's time to uh, go into the nether and quickly get something because I have a great idea for what we could use for collar. I'm a little bit scared. I have a little bit of a going to the nether trauma, guys. I'm gonna make sure that I have my armor on here. I don't have a golden helmet on. I'm gonna be extra careful. I don't know where we're gonna end up with this portal either. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Up in the air right away. I, I have to be careful for piglins, but I don't think I see any of them around here. And if I do see some, I'm gonna have to make sure that I get out of here quick. This is what I need. This is the stuff. Um, let me get, just get a lot of it. You know what? That should probably do. Um, I think the smart thing is to just get out of here. The house is coming along really well, but I think this next bit, if we put the red nether ward in here, I think the, the color is going to look really, really cool. It's going to give the house a little bit more character, just because it's, it's such an extreme block. Um, maybe not here, maybe take this out, and maybe then we put it in the middle. Right, and then we just fill in the bottom section here. And then the strong lights are gonna come in because if we don't light this up, it's gonna be really dark. Oh, I already like this a lot. This uh, this color is gonna work really well. Now I just have to fill this entire. Uh, I'm stuck below us there. Let me just um, go up around here. Oh my god, what a struggle. Um, yeah, I think we just filled this entire area. 
I'll just start here. Right, we're almost at the top, and this is where things are gonna get a little tricky. Do we go out further? Maybe that? Yeah, that will probably work. I, I think I'm just gonna remove this. <laughs> we'll do it. All right, if I do it like this, I can still kind of hover around here because I don't know if I need more blocks. Maybe a little bit. It felt a little, uh, a little flat there, and then we need to fill this down the middle in. All right, I'll probably do it. Let's uh, let's take a look. Oh my god, that waterfall is crazy. But that looks really good. Already has so much more character. Let me just squeeze in here and then we can fill this in. And we'll get this in here. Fill that up. If we put a little bit of fences in here, that could actually make it really cool. We'll just have to do it on the other side as well. Fences are really cool because they give a little bit of depth. They, It's not a full block. And because it's not a full block, yeah, that really helps. Okay, so I've matched up both of the sides with the stairs and the fence as well. And I, yeah, we got it. Um, now we're gonna need a little bit more light in the middle, I suppose. What if we have a little bit of light coming from the bottom? I think that might really help. Just the one there. Um, is that the same spot? No, it's not, I think. It's probably this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have to move this over. And now that looks the same. Um, yeah, the light is going to help a lot. I just quickly need to make some trap doors here. So if we put those on the stream lights, it's going to look a little bit cleaner. This side's looking cool with the lights, but we need trap doors here. Put that up there and there. One on top as well. Nice. Okay, that's looking good. Then we have the inside here. And this place needs a lot of work too. There needs to be a way to get up there. I think we have room for a staircase. So... The thing is though, I'm stuck under this corner here. And I don't see any way to move the stone wall above. So... Uh, that means we have to take the whole thing down. Okay, let me look up. I think we're... If we started here... That should fit, right? Oh, that was in the wrong place. And then we... Wait. Wait. Oh, guys, I'm actually dumb. I'm in the exact same place. <sighs> Third time is charm. You know what? I think we're just gonna have to go to the other side of the room. Here we have plenty of space. Just seal this up. And if we build that spiraling staircase here, I think it should work. Okay, and then I think, yeah, this is as far as it goes. And then here, I think we have to take this one out. So we can still walk up straight. And then we're gonna need a uh, second floor. And then here we go a little bit up. Now for the inside wall, we're gonna have to build something all the way around. And I've, I've taken this cobblestone, cobblestone walls, and then uh, dark prismarine stairs which I got from the ocean monument that we raided earlier. I don't have too many of them, but I think we can use it here on the inside. Let's cut out this dirt here and then bring the stone wall a little bit further down. That should be good. And then we're gonna have to do the same thing on the other side, but here we're gonna run into some trouble because we're messing with the shape of the rock now. It's not a good idea to mess with the rock. All right, the foundation for this room looks good, but... There is still a lot of space under the floor that needs to be addressed. What if we just fly around and work from here? I'll make a little balcony that is probably gonna look cool. And we can make a small little garden here later. That is really nice. While we're up here, it's probably a good idea to work on the tower a little bit. Now that could be cool. Let's make it all the way around. I like the shape for this. A little bit of height variation goes a long way. Nice, that looks good. There's a little something that I tried on top here to make it a bit more pointy and I think it works well. There's a bunch of fences up there and they kind of intersect on the corners of the blocks on the middle. Yeah, that works well. I like it. I like it. This tower is coming along great. So we have these fences on the corners as well. That works and then we need a little bit of an outline here because the general shape is okay. Oh, we've already made a lot of progress, but that's a cool house. <laughs> that's actually a cool house. Guys. It is time for a little bit more detailing, I think. 
So I put some leaves here on the side. Those help a lot. We need some bone meal. Okay, got a hair. We put all of this stuff in there for a second and then bones, bone meal. Now I gotta get lucky because this needs to grow the right... I think that might be the right orientation. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, I love that. I love that. That's a pretty good angle. Okay, fingers crossed that this grows the right way. Oh my... Yeah, I think that's perfect. It's starting to become a little fantasy island. Our floating space rock is almost a starter base. I have one more secret ingredient in mind. Something that always works if you want to make something look better. Let's grab some bones. Oh, the bone meal will do. And then rose bushes. Rose bushes, definitely my favorite flower in the game. The cool thing is if you put them down and you grab some bone meal, you'll get one extra rose bush per bone meal. This works for all tall flowers, by the way. Yeah, that's nice. I should probably add some bushes here. The rock looks a little bit flat. That looks awesome. I don't think we need much more. Oh wait, maybe one more thing. All right, this place is starting to look cool, but I think it's time to make it extra special. Now is the time to put in all these tiny little details so that if we walk around the house later, it's gonna feel like a finished project. And then it's time to work on the mountain underneath. I have a cool idea for it. We're gonna build this giant red glowing crystal in the middle. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna build a swirl of floating particles all the way around in a spiral that is very similar to the shape of what all these dirt pillars look like. And the whole place is gonna feel like one crazy magical location. This whole thing is starting to come together really, really well. I got so many good suggestions for a name, but this one just kept popping up. Luna, that looks perfect. Let's bring you home. Our starter houses go this is about the most extra special one that i've ever seen okay luna you watch over the house because i gotta go somewhere i'm gonna show you what we're doing in the next episode because this swamp over here this is gonna be my main base there's not one but two witch huts here and that means that we could potentially make a really awesome witch farm